Glorious day to everyone on planet Terra. A few months ago, I received a message from High Commander Ardana as a warning to pass on. This warning was concerning a trap that was set up by Grace. This trap was concerning hybridization of gray human hybrids and consent asked to people to welcome gray hybrids among them on earth. The Galactic Federation of World was advising very strongly people not to fall for this trap again, not to go back to the 1950s where an agreement has been signed. Well, as time went by, this operation to entice people to welcome Grace, even, <laughs> it's not funny, even asking people to draw pictures of Grey on their windows, stare at the sky and ask for Grey ships to come. If you do not see a trap through this, this is severe, okay? The Greys, the Nebu, have been kicked out physically from the star system last year. In the 1950s, they contacted Earth to trick the people of Earth in the same way as they do on all the other worlds, most of the other worlds that they have conquered and assimilated. We all have heard of the agreements that were passed with the MJ-12 and the Orion Nebu Greys behind the back of President Eisenhower, who was desperate trying to get these agreements rescinded. What is happening? What has happened? A small group of men with power, the MJ-12, signed with the Grey Nebu to authorize them to perform abductions and experiment on a group of about 150 humans. These 150 humans were prisoners. Why prisoners? Because the MJ-12, they are military people, they are governmental institution, well, they are government, but still governmental, and they have a sort of the ownership of prisoners. They have lawfully all rights on them, unfortunately. The MJ-12 signed to allow the Grey Nebu to take this small amount of prisoners. Unfortunately, after these agreements, the Nebu just overpassed them and just went wild, abducting millions of people. They were not allowed to do that. It wasn't the agreements, but what can you do once they are in the place? It was written, you don't mind your we don't mind your business, you do not mind ours. Well, when a powerful advanced civilization such as the Nebu is in, you do not know how to kick them out. This is when the Galactic Federation of World intervened and contacted the good side of the government and started building defense programs and shared technology. There's been a war going on about that. This is a whole topic in itself. Let's go back to the Greys. The Greys never had been given the right to abduct millions of people per year. But because they were doing that sneakily and using fear when the people were conscious, fear is consent, okay? These abductions were going on. The Galactic Federation of Worlds was trying, has been trying and working so hard 
are trying to stop that, rescuing as much as duckies as they could, blowing up gray ships as much as they could. It's been it's it's been a long war going on since between the both, not causing casualties on Earth, not causing casualties among civilians, not breaking the Prime Directive by making the the, the space fight visible. But the most it was not to create fear and chaos. Because if people would have known that these greys were doing that, it would have been worldly chaos, global chaos. The Galactic Federation didn't want that. So they, they acted in the shadow, trying to get rid of the greys. No doubt. The greys never had the right to do this, these abductions. The MJ-12 just sold out a small group of prisoners. So at the moment, you as an individual, you were able to stand out and say, no, I do not consent, I never consented. That was enough. That was enough to protect yourself. This is why two years ago, the Galactic Federation of World via Val Thor, who, was, who is an ambassador, advised everyone to request assistance to the Galactic Federation of World, personally. Doing this, you rescind any agreements that could have been made on your behalf and you free yourself. You protect yourself because you put yourself under the protection of the Federation and the Greys cannot do anything to you. They will turn back. This is the universal law. The Galactic Federation of World has been helping people since the 1950s. They've been assisting you. They've never let us down. They have never let us down. Now these hybrid greys who have been mass produced, okay? The agenda has always been to replace us humans on earth because the nebu cannot invade the world physically they would be cut off by the galactic federation straight away so they breed themselves in sneakily but there's one last thing they need is your consent to welcome the hybrids until now this has been working like this and recently, some people who have been programmed to spread this narrative, who have been infiltrated to spread this message, welcome the gray hybrids. They are us from the future. They are not. <laughs> okay. They have nothing to do with the future of Terra. The future of Terra is human. And there's no gray hybrid replacing us. It will be an intergalactic mix with a lot of it is among us, but not these ones. Because these ones, who are they, these hybrids? They are, they have been mass produced with a gray soul. It's not the same as a human soul. A gray soul is a gray consciousness which is connected to the hive, the Orion hive. Okay? Once they take over a world, they are more dominant because half of the population has been culled. I'm driving you to other topics that you know about. Game over. Hybrid, human gray, high with a gray hive soul. Hybrid, hybrid, human gray with a hive soul. Hue breed, human gray with a human soul. Re breed, human gray with no soul, empty vessel. These three exist. There are a lot of human gray hybrids who are wonderful people who have nothing to do with the gray hive. They are of human souls. And these, these are welcome into our societies. You do not need 
to know how to recognize them. It's not the point. Do not become paranoid. This is not the message. The message is do not personally welcome the greys back, whatever they tell you. That clear? Yesterday, I had a new information. I was invited on a ship where I met with members of the High Council of the Galactic Federation of Worlds. I am told that everybody learns from experience. And the prime directive is going to be amended. A paragraph, a section is going to be developed with more specificity, which is putting an end to this kind of problem. The universal law of evolution is the foundation of the prime directive, which says that evolution is free will, free decision of an individual or culture. This must not be interfered. When someone asks, take a decision, no one can counter this. Now, after a long time, I think it took them months or maybe years, um, probably months as I understood it, and many discussion, you know, between them all, the Galactic Federation of World decided to add this. Everything that is in resonance with the great universal law of evolution is accepted and valid when it comes from the heart, when it is not influenced, when a decision that appears like free will made by a stage one or stage two culture or individual from stage one and stage two. When this free will decision is made from the heart with no interference, personal decision, it's in resonance with the universal law of evolution. When in the stage one or two level civilization, a decision that appears like free will is made by under interference of an extraterrestrial culture that is stage three and up, invasive and manipulative for their own benefit at the detriment of the said first culture. This is not in accordance with an universal law. So the amendment which is taking effect now, as we speak. This amendment basically says that if your decisions are not yours, if you have been manipulated by an extraterrestrial, invasive, manipulative species who want from you a personal decision that is going to benefit them and destroy yourself, this is interference. This is punishable. And the Galactic Federation have, they have the right to intervene. This was necessary because the Greys have been doing that a lot. The Galactic Federation was fighting that. They were still fighting that until 
they they were all asking that a law the law was clear about that and it is now you know it takes time for them to change stuff because they're a big big organization the arrival of the intergalactic confederation played in the balance of that i know that they had a great meeting about that with the intergalactic confederation and the galactic federation of worlds so now when you listen you are victim of these narratives who try to extort you from you a consent to welcome back the grace throughout the hybrids because once the hybrids are on in you know the parents come when you are confronted to that when you make this decision to welcome back the grace and you draw gray on your window or you 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 call about the hybrids or their ships or welcome we love you okay when you do that it concerns only you you put yourself in danger and if danger comes to you you will be rescued as much as they can do because there's a lot of of people but they have reinforcement now the federation so this is what's happening to put an end to the gray hybridization agenda to replace us, the Galactic Federation of World finally voted this amendment. It is effective now. As soon as I will be given the text, I will update it. So for now, be safe. The Nebu Grays will not come back. Be open, use your discernment, and stay safe. The Galactic Federation of Worlds has never let us down, and they never will. And our future is walking hand in hand with them. Have a safe, peaceful, and loving day on planet Terra.